show you what happened i installed the cage for the power supplies of this desk i'm working my way around restoring the cabling as you can see i did cut some connections and i am sadly missing my crimping tool right now so these will have to wait but still i will go through and before i put power to this thing See that I have no shorts. I will measure a lot before I put anything to power. That's the process. And right now, as you can see, I installed the original power plug. I mean, that was the power plug that they gave me that they had worked with the console before. And uh, the power comes in to here. And I was a bit confused at first because these cables distribute the power over to here where as you can see it is insulated at the bottom so you're not able to touch live wire which is yeah, absolutely necessary of course but I was confused at first because of the lengths where the power cabling is going in and I had no documents but we figured with the help of my dad we figured that this year is where the power plug has to be. And then these are, of course, for Zugentlastung, you would say in German, the same here. I will install it once I am pretty sure. Same with all the other things. There's a lot of these uh, Vorrichtungen where you can tie cables down, which is very nice. And I would definitely do that just for a satisfactory reason. The confusion still is why this thing has like a Drehstrom, like a three phase power input I mean it came bridged so um, most probably it's not really relevant there is these things which could be but I think it's just relay it's just a relay question is what all this is for maybe it's it switches the power line if one's not working one phase Maybe that's the reason. So you can have multiple phases. And this one switches automatically if one falls off. I don't know yet. And these documents sadly I don't have. But uh, still, watch what happens when I give power to the console. <laughs> nice. Well, yeah. That's why these things are for. To secure it while showing you the way I configured this cable, it slipped out of one of these. Now the problem is because they bridged it uh, in a way where you now have like two things in one. It's not optimal in a way that they are kind of squeezed and don't have the best grip. Power's off. Very important. And now watch when I give power to this now. Yes, that works. And I measured before, no power to the frame. Everything's all right. I can see the power consumption still at zero. Now let's uh, add some uh, modules, shall we?
Okay, so that's it for today. I had a good run putting everything back together the way I got the frame, which meant uh, screwing these guys on, screwing this guy. Well, actually not truly because there's still this tray missing and the computer missing, but I was getting away with most of the cabling, putting everything back. You see, I even put back the cover for uh, this cable tunnel right here to make it look neat and to get a better overview of things. This is all screwed on, everything that I screwed off in order to get this third separated. I put it all back, as you can see, the, in the original design, everything is nice and tight, tight to the frame. I didn't do that yet. I will do that after testing though, because I think it looks nice and it is actually very functional. As you can see here, these ones I did not tie back yet, but they do have a special place here. Oh, I see these should have gone under that, but I can always correct that, no problem. This will be tied to the frame as well. And the rest looks super neat. You see where the computer will be? The cabling is waiting for that. Well, everything else looks nice. And uh, let me show you, this console is just, that's so beautiful if you see it. The way the cabling is laid out, everything is tied and nice and then also i just love the way they color coded the power rails and how these power rails are running all the way not only once but twice and there's even a small third power line which you can see here and then another one here <laughs> so they did it everywhere why not okay that's it for now see you soon So, yesterday I rebuilt the frame with all the cabling. What I did now was load the power supply. And as you can see, everything tests fine. I have no shorts, which is very nice. No short circuit. And uh, yeah, all these power supplies look good. They test good. I am measuring uh, power output throughout this uh, rebuild to see how much power consumption I have and if I'm really possible to use this system with a normal plug. I mean, it has been used like that before, but in my case, I will probably have to use the uh, servers and DSP in the same power socket. So I don't know if that is possible. But we will find out and measure along the way. This is pretty dope. Next step will probably be the computer and the other tray. So I'm going to get started with it. All right. Voran. Es geht vorwärts. As you can see, I assembled the computer 
which in this configuration consists of one monitor, one auxiliary monitor, and the control unit, which has a mouse wheel, some buttons, there's stuff missing, I see if I can get this back assembled, but I have seen a bag of stuff labeled keyboard. And yeah, this is, this is your mouse. So I can click around, which is all I need. I have the back and the tray nice and fully assembled all the way, looking neat. The cabling will clean up itself once it's connected to everywhere. I figured that they exchanged the optical cable. This one goes to the computer and is all the way tied with cable ties. As you can see, it might possibly be that this one broke it at one point. If you see here, that is not how you would want to connect or want to tie an optical cable. So it... Uh, looks quite logical to me. Maybe I take it out at some point to clean it up. But yeah, all the screens are connected. The computer is connected to the 24 volts of the console. So next step will be turning on the console. And with from now on, every time I turn on the console, the computer is turning on as well, which is exciting. <music> Come back to the shop, to the Lavo restoration. As you can see, I added the wood framing, which is quite nice, even though it annoys me that somewhere along the lines, they added the wrong wood covers to this console. I know that this came in a bulk of, I think, three consoles from the Bayerischer Rundfunk. And it tells me that this is not right. Why? Because this one was sawed off. And I'm a hundred percent sure that this is not factory. Um, because I know how this console is built. So they should, they, they would have mixed up the top covers somewhere when these consoles were split up. And I can also tell because you have the part number from the Bayerische Rundfunk and there is two so these are from two different consoles and then they just sorted to make it work my explanation this is not super pretty but I might find a solution where it works and I still have to fix it uh, all nice and tight to the frame and for that I got new screws with Torx because the screws that came with the console were just bad. They would wear out super easily. Also, before I continue, and yes, we are all waiting for the uh, nice part where we put the modules in. But before we do that, I want to further prepare the computer ecosystem. You see I have the server, or not the server, the switch stored here and all the other computers and servers there then also yes there is a computer inside the console and i will connect these up now i'm still missing a few cables to connect this to the the, the control surface to the real-time computer but i am trying to continue on replacing the management server and what i will do 
is I have this backup computer, which is actually nice and has some of the more modern hardware. And I see if I can this can can get this system to work on this. So far, so good. Thank you.